Welcome to yet another Adobe Monday. My goal here is to go straight to the point without wasting your time every single week. This is part 13 of this series and today we'll learn how to use Puppet Warp Tool which allows us to do a lot of amazing stuff, one of them being to change positions of our character without drawing them all over again. Are you ready? We have cute little dog here looking at his delicious meal, but what if we move his bowl up to the table? Illustration makes no sense now, and this is where Puppet Warp Tool comes to play. First, select your illustration and find the Puppet Warp Tool under the Free Transform Tool. If we click on our character, the pin will be created. But in order for pins to work, you need to make at least two of them. One pin for the head and another one at the end of his body should be a good start. It can get pretty messy and it's hard to see the illustration through the mask and all that, so I like to hide the edge with going to View, Hide Edges. And even more importantly, I like to hide the mask with unchecking the Show Mask button in the Properties window. Let's add some more pins to his legs to keep them still and let's rotate the pin we created on his head and voila! He's already looking at food on the table. Of course, adding more pins and spending more time on this can improve the results, but look, I rather made him sit. When it comes to more complex characters and moving parts such as human, it's smart to separate the illustration into parts such as head, body, hands and legs. That's especially useful if you're planning to heavily animate the character and to get more control over what pins affect. And here it is! That was fast, right? All I'm asking you is to like the video and subscribe. There will be more videos like that every single week. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.